Hi guys, good morning. So, it is Tuesday. Reading this month just has not been it for me. These professors are really not holding back this school year with all the school work. So with that and then trying to fit in reading, it's just, it's been a struggle. Still trying to read A Darker Shade of Magic. But now I'm also throwing in this week Aurora Rising and Children of Virtue and Vengeance. And we're gonna see how that goes this week. So wish me luck. So I decided to put down A Darker Shade of Magic for the time being and I picked up Aurora Rising. Um, I've never read anything by Amy or Jay so this should be an experience. This isn't the Illumicrate edition. I did paint these edges myself and if that's something you guys would like to see in a video let me know. Okay guys, so I'm supposed to be on a book buying ban for the rest of the year, but then I saw these gorgeous covers for the Poppy War, the Dragon Republic, and Burning God, and holy Jesus, if I do not need these freaking books, and if I don't get my hands on them, like, pray for me y'all. Okay, so I only have 360 pages left of Aurora Rising. I'm thinking of doing a little 24-hour readathon just to see if I can finish it tonight into tomorrow. Um, I'd like to also start Children of Virtue and Vengeance, see how far I can get in that this week. And yeah, we're doing pretty good on the reading, which is surprising to me after last week. So let's hope that the momentum, momentum keeps on going. Okay, so it's 3.03 in the morning. I got to page 3.03, how ironic, but your girl tired now. So I'm going to go to sleep for a few hours and then finish Aurora Rising once I wake up. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Almost finished. 
with Aurora Rising. I only have about that much left. And then I can get started on A Darker Shade of Magic, which I still have a good chunk to get through, but I'm optimistic that I can do it.
it's a lot later in the day like 7 30 at night and i haven't done much reading i did do some homework got that out of the way so now i'm ahead with everything with that um i did some housework so i haven't read much of aurora rising today i am on page 380 so the plan would be to finish that tonight which i feel is very doable thanks to that audiobook and i'll be able to start children of virtue and vengeance tomorrow which was my plan from the jump for this week so we're doing pretty well staying on schedule and i'm hoping fingers crossed that i'm able to stick to my tbr for this month i'll be able to complete it but if not that's okay I said on Tuesday that I would be finishing Aurora Rising on Wednesday. Here it is Thursday and still haven't finished it, but I will today. I'm on 365 now. I just got back from a walk with my mom. So I'm going to go make some breakfast and finish Aurora Rising. That is the plan for today and then i can finally 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 start children of virtue and vengeance or maybe i'll finish a darker shade of magic i don't even know what i'm saying just cue the montage I'm interrupting your normal watching video experience. Find your words, Janessa. I'm interrupting to just document my progress on my book, which looking at this workout isn't very much, but it's progress from what it used to be. Hey guys, so just got back home. Had to make a Starbucks run. Sorry, Sydney. I've got some bookish meal. Okay, so first we'll start with what I got from Book of the Month, which isn't sponsored, but you know, if they want to. So first book I got was Wicked Fox by Kat Choi. Now I've been wanting to read this book for a while. So when I saw that book of the month had it, when I saw that book of the month had it, had to pick this up. Really excited to get into this because like this cover speaks for itself. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, so Wicked Fox is about an 18 year old named, I'm so going to butcher this and I apologize in advance, Gu Mi Young, who has a secret. She's a Gamiho, a nine tailed fox who survives by consuming the energy of men, but she's also half human and has a soft spot for people, so she won't kill indiscriminately. With the help of a shaman, Myung only takes the lives of men who have committed terrible crimes. Devouring their life force is a morbid kind of justice, or so she tells herself. But killing men no one ever miss in bustling modern day soul also helps Myung keep a low profile. She and her mother protect themselves by hiding in plain sight. That is until Myung crosses paths with a handsome boy her age as he's been being attacked by a goblin in the woods. 
she breaks her mother cardinal rule, revealing herself and her nine tails to save Ji Hoon from certain death. In the process, she loses her fox bead, her gamiho soul. Without it, she will die. When Mi Young and Ji Hoon next meet, there's no doubt they are drawn to each other. But their tenuous romance could be over before it even begins, as Mi Young's effort to restore her fox bead. Fox bead by the next full moon ensnare them in a generations old feud, forcing Mi Young to choose between her immortal life and Ji Hoon's. Y'all, this is gonna be so good. The next book that I have is Star Daughter by Shifta Takar. So sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure this just came out like either last month or something, but I'm a person who likes to pick books based on the cover, but I've also heard some pretty okay things about this, so excited to get into this one as well. Okay, it says... If the night sky holds many secrets, it holds Chital's mystery secret the closest. A secret that explains why her hair is the silver of starlight or why some nights the stars call Chital by name. Stars like her mother who returned to her place in the constellation Pusha years ago. Since that day, Chital has been forced to hide. But as her 17th birthday draws near, the pull from the sky is growing stronger. So, so strong that Chital loses control and a flare of starfire burns her human father, an injury only a full star's blood can heal. Chital has no choice but to answer the star song and ascend to the sky, but her celestial family has summoned her for a reason, to act as their human champion in a competition to decide the next ruling house of the heavens. Desperate to save her father, Chital agrees, but nothing could have prepared Chital to face the star's dark history or the forces that are working to shut the gate between the realms for good. I mean, come on. Need to read this one. Okay, and then my pick for the September book of the month was Transcendent Kingdom by Ya Gyasi. I'm so bad with names. Okay, and it says Gifty is a sixty sixth year Gifty is a sixth year PhD candidate in neuroscience at the Stanford University School of Medicine studying reward seeking behavior in mice in the neural circuits of depression and addiction. Her brother Nana was a gifted high school athlete who died of a heroin overdose after an ankle injury left him hooked on Oxycontin. Her suicidal mother is living in her bed. Gifty is determined to discover the scientific basis for the suffering she's seen, she sees all around her. But even as she turns to the hard sciences to unlock the mystery of her family losses, she finds herself hungering for her childhood faith and grappling with the evangelical church in which she was raised, who promise of salva salvation remains as tantalizing as it is elusive. Okay guys, so I have another package that was sent to me by McMillan. So thank you so much to them for that. Let's open her up. She cute? She real cute. So this is Now That I Found You by Christina Forrest, which just recently came out. So so happy that I was able to get my hands on a copy. So. so, the synopsis is as follows. Following in the footsteps of her uber famous grandma, 18 year old Evie Jones is poised to be Hollywood's next big star. That is until a close friend's betrayal leads to her being blacklisted. Fortunately, Evie knows just the thing to save her floundering career. A public appearance with America's most beloved beloved actress, her grandma Gigi, aka Evelyn Conaway. The only problem, Gigi is a recluse who's been out of the limelight for almost 20 years. Days before Evie is to present her grandma with an honorary award in front of Hollywood's elite, Gigi does the unthinkable. She disappears. 
With time running out and her comeback on the line, Evie reluctantly enlists the help of the last person to see Gigi before she disappeared. Milo Williams, a cute music musician, I swear I know how to talk guys, a cute musician Evie isn't sure she can trust. As Evie and Milo conduct a wild manhunt across New York City, a romance and adventure abound while Evie makes some surprising discoveries about her grandma and herself. This movie is so cute y'all. I'm so excited to read this. I don't really like you I don't usually like reading books about celebrities but I feel like this one I can get into so excited for that. Hi good morning. It currently feels way too early in the morning and I've got a pretty um, packed weekend that I'm planning. So I didn't film it all yesterday, but I did start The Henna Wars. I'm on page 83. I don't really have an opinion of the book yet. It is a little slow. So I'm hoping that changes soon. I'm also hoping to finish the next 200 and something pages of A Darker Shade of Magic. Right now, I just, I don't like Lila. I could care less about Kel. And I'd really like the Torture Twins back. So that's my thoughts. And I also thought it was a good idea to start On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which I'm liking so far. I'm on page 90 in this one. Um, I could probably finish all three of these this weekend because I do have the audiobooks for all of them and reading at 2 or 2.5 times speed should get me through them quicker. So I guess we'll just see how today goes leading into tomorrow. So, bye guys. Uh, we look a hot ass mess but it's okay. So I have like 111 pages of the henna wars and I'm happy that it finally started picking up. I am still kind of iffy on the main character's actions. They're sort of questionable. Hoping to start this soon, but we'll see how that goes. I am willing to read up to at least page 200 or if it ends in, if 200 is in the middle of the chapter and reading till the end of that chapter to see how I feel about the book but I really want to like this book it's been hyped up so much and I want to join the hype so we'll see how that goes okay guys hi um so still reading the henna wars and I just got to the part where the shot's mom and dad, you know, are finally accepting who she is. And all of a sudden I start crying and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I didn't think that this book would make me cry, but um, I shed a few tears. I should have few and I don't know why <laughs> but I just thought I needed to come and tell you guys that real quick um so yeah I'm going to go keep reading I guess but bye guys Okay guys, it is now Sunday morning, so good morning. I did finish The Henna Wars. I gave it four out of five stars. Just some of the things that Nishat and Flavia, they did and like their actions, um, just questionable. So that's why it's not a full five stars for me. And I'm now further into A Darker Shade of Magic. I'm on page 248. So I'm hoping to finish this today. And then I think I'm going to start 
on the come up well not even start because I've already started it but I might read more of on the come up just to get further into that and get more of that done because I still have six books to read in the next week so gotta get to it I finished A Darker Shade of Magic I think I'm gonna give this one 3.5 stars I was expecting way too much from this book I'll probably still continue the series, but it wasn't my favorite. That is going to do it for this week's vlog. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey.